What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going over some new teasers for The Flash Season 8. So first of all, we have The Flash's Season 8 Episode 7 trailer. I'm not going to go over this uh, for too long uh, because it's really, you know, not that interesting. Goldface returns. He's an alright villain. I'm just going to give him that. Um, at least The Flash is going to be in it. I know this is going to be a little bit of a filler episode, but The Flash is going to be in it and he's going to be using his speed, which I think is going to be great to see nonetheless. Um, so this episode, I'm going to say, is probably going to be like a 7 out of 10. Not that good, not that bad. Um, but yeah, this episode's probably just going to be pretty average. We do also have the synopsis for episode 8 and episode 9, so I'll read episode 8's uh, synopsis right now. So it says, Barry trusts his instincts during a murder investigation, believing the suspect despite the overwhelming evidence against him. Meanwhile, Iris gives Allegra an opportunity to be a mentor. So basically with Iris and Allegra, I'm assuming this is going to be like, you know, journalist related. So I'm not particularly interested in that part, although I think it's, you know, what Allegra is supposed to be doing on the show. She's supposed to be like, you know, just for Iris's reporter storyline. At least that's what I would like to see. Um, I really don't think she should be on Team Flash or anything like that. Anyways, um, with the rest of the, uh, the synopsis here, I think I'm actually going to enjoy this episode because it looks like Barry is going to be doing a lot of CSI work like season one, which I think was awesome to see. So I think if he does more of that, that, then you know we're gonna get to see a pretty good episode in terms of uh, you know Barry's like comic book uh, alter ego him being a CSI and the flash so I think that's gonna be really cool to see in this episode so now we have the episode 9 synopsis which says Barry and team flash get closer to figuring out the fire meta but no closer to finding him meanwhile iris needing a distraction follows a story to coast city so Iris going to Coast City, maybe there's going to be a little Green Lantern teaser. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Maybe we see John Diggle because obviously they're probably not going to do Hal Jordan. Um, but anyways, with the, the rest of this synopsis, the fire meta. I wonder who this could be. Now, of course, Ronnie Raymond is going to be returning this season for a couple of episodes, so maybe this has something to do with him. I know we recently saw some set photos which uh, showed somebody in a uh, somebody with a quantum splicer on. If you guys remember from season one, uh, the quantum splicer, of course, helps Firestorm, you know, uh, change into Firestorm and then change back into two people. So I think that could be very, very interesting. Maybe this fire meta is Ronnie Raymond, or maybe it's just, you know, related to Firestorm somehow. I think that's going to be a pretty interesting storyline in this episode. So now additionally with all that stuff we have some information from some recent interviews with The Flash's showrunner Eric Wallace. I'm not going to be breaking down each interview like closely so we're just going to go over the, the stuff that I think was the most interesting. So we now know that it is confirmed that Eddie will be coming back in present day and it will not be because of Crisis on Infinite Earths. So what exactly could this mean? How exactly could Eddie come back? They could just say that he's, you know, resurrected or something along those lines, but I think that would, you know, that would probably be a little too easy. Um, also, Eric Walls did say that it's, he's going to be coming back in an unexpected way, um, so maybe he comes back, you know, courtesy of the Reverse Flash. Who really knows how Eddie could come back, but we're still hoping that he could end up being Cobalt Blue or, you know, a villain. Now, we also do know that one of the villains in one of the two remaining graphic novels is not going to be a speedster, according, again, to Eric Wallace. Um, now, I still think this could be Cobalt Blue, because technically in the comics, Cobalt Blue is not a speedster. He's just able to basically copy the Flash's powers and become a speedster. So maybe that's, you know, a little play on words right there from Eric Wallace, and then maybe we still end up getting Cobalt Blue. Of course, one of the villains is, you know, apparently a speedster. Maybe it's multiple speedsters. Who really knows? who it could be um, but I think you know Red Death uh, Cobalt Blue or you know as I said before in some past videos Daniel West's version of Reverse Flash I think they could make that a really good storyline I think he would be a great villain um, and then obviously this you know Speedster War Legion of Zoom storyline that we are potentially going to be seeing I think that could you know be the entirety of a graphic novel as well we also know that there's going to be like a big overall reverse flash storyline happening later in this season, presumably around the time of, you know, the whole stuff with Zoom and Godspeed in that newspaper. Um, so this could very well obviously be leaning towards the Legion of Zoom storyline, of course, where reverse flash just gathers a bunch of flash villains to go up against the flash. I think that'd be really great to see this season. But yeah, other than that, what exactly could happen with Reverse Flash here? Now, what I would like to see, I've said this before, I believe, um, is, you know, somehow this Tom Cavanaugh version of Reverse Flash or, you know, the Wells version of Reverse Flash, I think he could, you know, somehow end up dying or, you know, something along those lines. Maybe he gets thrown back in prison without his speed or, you know, something like that. And then we see the original Matt Letcher version of Reverse Flash return. I think that would be, you know, so awesome. 
But yeah, what I'd like to see, you know, for now with the, the Wells version of Reverse Flash is for him to somehow escape prison, get his speed back, and team up with speedsters like Zoom and Godspeed. I think that'd be so cool to see a team up with all of them. Um, him and Godspeed could be like, you know, I, I know we fought once, but I actually hate the Flash as much as you do, so we could both team up, something like that. I think that'd be cool to see. And then Zoom's return. It's going to be really interesting to see how exactly he might return. Um, it could be somehow like a doppelganger that, you know, was uh, that was propelled to Earth Prime after Christ's on Infinite Earth. I think that's definitely possible. Um, Earth 1, Hunter's Allman from Season 2, I think, could definitely somehow become Zoom. Uh, I think that would be a cool storyline. Uh, but yeah, Zoom and all these other speedsters, presumably returning later in the Flash Season 8, should be really cool to see. But anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below, as well as your thoughts on all this new Season 8 information. You know, Eddie Thawne, Ronnie Raymond, uh, the new episodes coming up, all these speedsters returning later in the season. Just comment all your thoughts on that down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.